You know, we've convinced a lot of outsiders to come over to the cock and fight, but I got a feeling this nut's gonna be a little tougher to crack. Yeah, I have the same feeling. Hey, wow, it's the cog. Welcome. Now get the hell out. Hey, God, want a whiff of this? Stinks almost as bad as you. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Problem is, there's nothing left out there. Everything was in 20 miles. Plenty of places left to scatter. Damn snow mines too right. Tell me you're here to get that hand looked at finally. Yeah. If this is all the stim they've got left, then things are even worse here than I thought. It's more of the greenish brown. Try horns moves on it. More mine traps seem to help. I bet it hurt though. I know you lost some people in the last attack. It's gonna work. Mobile course shot. So can you get it running? Actuator's okay, so maybe. What about the muscle wires? You know, That's part of me still enjoys seeing Just, them all broken up. Let me think a minute. How hard to control are these things anyway? Nah, not too bad. Kind of like a loader, except, you know, arm. What are you looking at? Carrying his water. Why do you Thanks think Norsko and Nina went north? Mrs. Because they're cowards. Not in this bone heap. <sighs> at this point, I settle for Mr. Wrong. Why are we together? Reasonable. It's just. They've lost so many, and they still won't leave. They must hate the cog even more than I did. Look, I'm fine with guys, but do you think it is? Ran out. If you could wait until what? next week. What? You never thought about it? Oh boy, not this shit again. I'm going back to work. I need that. Hush, hush! So, um, nice weather, huh? Just gonna stand around for a while. Cog! Chief's through these doors, down by the steam farm. Okay, go on in. Hang on, I'll let you through. Steam farm's down the hill. Can't miss it.
shit. You okay? I'm okay, I'm okay. Nobody get close. Steam will burn your skin clean off. Cog scanner. How much you want to bet they've been listening in on our transmissions? Stables are. You're about the only friend I got right now. Which is hey, it's Chuz and and not Chuz. Feel like How you doing, boy? You're looking good. Yeah, I know, right? To be alone. Good old Chuz. Talk over here. Feels that way to me. Let's just get to the steam farm. Okay. So they got this whole place running on geotherm? Huh, looks that way. Makes sense, but that's a lot of drilling. Guessing the giant worm did most of the work there. Looking for the chief. Old guy, smells like beer. You seen him? Kate. Uncle. A lot of cogs been out here to make their pitch. Never imagined they'd send you. Guess they thought you'd hear me out. And what do you think? I think you need a new decorator. He's supposed to keep him away. How's that working out for you? Huh. Not too well. It's good to see you again, Kate. You too, Uncle. Now go pack up. You're leaving. Am I? 
Look, man, we've convinced every other village to enlist. You're the last holdouts. Cog, outsider, look, it doesn't matter. It's time to fight these things together. No. It's time we end this conversation. I'm sorry, young ones. You can find your way out. Uncle. My mother's dead because she thought we could make it alone. So go ahead, send us away. But if you do, I'll be back to bury whatever's left of you and the people behind these walls. And I think you know it. <sighs> Shit. How often do they attack? Lately, every day. They do that every day? No, they don't. Come on. Uncle, we're gonna need more ammo than this. Grab what you can find. Until then, use knives, fish, hunters, anything you got. <laughs> they breached the lower wall. Help me clear them out. <laughs> Do not let them win. Okay, death. More of them coming in. Anymore. Oscar, you gotta come with us, man. Your people don't deserve this. Uh. Okay, done. They're growing at the door. Grab that shock trap. Got an idea. Young ones. I'm done! 
shit! Get out! We gotta stop! Destroy it before it kills anyone else! <laughs>
Let's get out there and help your convoy. Come on, we gotta get out there.
Okay. No, 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 Kate, Kate, you can't see this. You don't want to see this. Thanks, J.D., for coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? Oscar's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her a minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Now we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? Something's, something's happening to me. Is your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foz, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. No, no. <clears throat> Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you are coming back to Noafira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? us now. So what's in here anyway? A fast way out of this fucking place. Hey, if you want some time, you know, we don't have to leave right away. Yeah, we do. Okay, then we need some light. Where's the switch? The new one should have a skip around. So you can drive? More or less. Here we go. Marcus just pushed Jack the quarters to some facility up north. New Hope. New Hope? Sounds pleasant. All right. We should head out. It's a long ride from here. Hey, Del. Hey, what? I'm glad you're here. Me too. Del, it's been hours. Tell me we're getting close. Marcus's coordinates put New Hope in the uh, valley up ahead. So we're close.
Well, you haven't said a word in a while. How you doing? Um, the good news is, uh, I'm starting to get the hang of this thing, which has been a nice distraction. Look, I'll be okay. It's just hard to believe Uncle's really gone. Yeah, it is. Thanks for asking about how I'm doing, by the way. Thanks for driving. Exhausting as it looks. Very much so. Hey, I'm sorry for the way JD treated you back at the village. He's just... <sighs> Don't. You're the last person who needs to apologize for him. Yo, stop, stop! We got a gate ahead! <clears throat> and, from the look of it, this wall's pretty recent, too. Definitely good parking. All right, let's, um, get around and find a way to open this thing. Look... J.D. kept a big secret from you. But how am I any different? You told us your secret. He did. Yeah. Right. Hey, out there. Is that New Hope? Nope. Marcus's coordinates are... Doesn't look far. Just gotta unblock the skiff. You know what pisses me off most of all? Seeing J.D. pal around with Fox. Like, when did that happen? Jin's had him running missions together for months. What do you expect? Check it out. Jack just found a map of the area. Okay, let's go. And now for the gate. It's like a simple mag lock. Jack can get this open. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Hey, let's make sure we store a couple of weapons on the skiff. You know, for emergencies. New Hope, here we come. I keep wondering about something. JD and Settlement too. You think Marcus knew? What he did, you mean? Yeah. I think he knew. You saw how he reacted. I did. And it... Well, it explains a lot, actually. Kids, you read? Marcus, you back in New Affair yet? Just landed. Are you close to New Hope? Almost. Question, how will we know when we're there? Officially, New Hope never existed. It was disguised as Jameson Shipping Depot. So look for tracks and follow. Tracks. Got it. This is it? You're sure? I mean, yeah. Should be right in those woods. Hold up. That's an outsider camp. This far north? You think they're from Oscar's village? Maybe. Huh. I wonder where they went. They were from Uncle's village. Lena and Norsko. This journal says their new camp got wiped out, so they ran here. And got attacked again. We should try to find them. 
Tell me about Uncle. Del, down here. Marcus, there's no facility here. It's all old growth forest. Trust me, it's there. So does Jen know about this place? Every first minister's known. And they all did the same thing. Posted guards and tried to keep it a secret. Secrets, huh? There's a lot of that going around these days. Let me know when you're getting close. Control out. Del, the storm's getting closer. Oh, great. Here we go. Another cog seal. We're in the right place. Through here. You went off on your own. Off on your own. You care about any of us. Who could trust you now? Let's find a way out of here. Outsiders, cogs, swarm. We're the only ones who haven't been here. Got something up ahead! Let's check it out! Well, this is the place, but the entrance is blocked. Let's find a way around. building, I think.
Roger that. We'll let you know when we find it. your hallway and your circular door looks like somebody blew it up oh right that was me actually i forgot about that so what now okay look for another way in the lab's filled with stasis tanks that's how you'll know you found it stasis tanks got it wait what is that we, uh, we might have a problem. Yeah, we definitely have a problem. Warden! Damn warden doing here. The warden means the swarm's looking to turn this place into a hive. Oh shit. Let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. something. Help me lift it. Squeak through, buddy. You too. Okay, those are definitely not stasis tanks. But what the hell are they? Not good. I can tell you that. Reject. Let's take it out.
Okay, we're clear. But watch it. More gas leaks down here. Almost like someone wants to keep us out. Okay, get the other side. and experimented on children? I warned you about what you learned there. You can ask him yourself. Wait, what? How is he still alive? He preserved himself as an AI construct. Find the lab. Find Niles. See what you can do, Jerry. Hey, Marcus. Did the cog know what this Niles guy was doing? They shut him down. Looks like Niles had a favorite test subject. Observation room. They were watching this kid. Marcus, 
Who was this Niles? What exactly was he doing? Over my pay grade. That had something to do with the Locust, which means it has something to do with you. Found the lab. Good, but you're gonna want to avoid those tanks. Why? What's up? The early and angry fruits of Nile's labor. They're called sires. Last time I saw them, they were a little moody. Moody. Great. Just find Niles. He should be close. You know, I'm beginning to think Niles wasn't a nice guy. Come on. I think I'm ready to meet this Niles creep. So, you got any idea what you're gonna ask this guy? You know, about your, uh, connection thing? I think I might ask about the whole imprisoned children thing first. Okay, fair enough. And then? And then... What does all this have to do with me? All right, Marcus. We made it. Look for a switch to activate his AI construct. Then, put on your tinfoil. Marcus, that didn't work. What? You mean, you did it, listen? No. Will we listen? Did you listen? Are you listening? That's Niles, all right. Still batshit after all these years. Jack, get over here and pull whatever files you can. <laughs> oh, hello, naughty fellow. Hey, is Jack gonna get some weird virus plugged into the sink? Ah, oh, shit. Most of the files are corrupt, but several of them mention something called Kadar. That mean anything to you? No. It does to me. I'll have Bear take a look. What was that? Oh, shit! Come on, Jack! The final cleansing. Has it begun? May I terminate? No! Get it! Someone once said to me, Nighty Night. Marcus! This place is filling with gas!
what I said earlier. New hope? <laughs> Not pleasant. Agreed. I think I've seen enough of this place for today. Or tomorrow. Forever. Let's get back to the skiff and see if we have a solid lead. Hey kids, you out of there? Yeah. Did Baird get anything out of that data? Plenty. Right before the last of the scientists left New Hope. Someone sent them a message from a lab in Mount Kadar, formerly known as Locust Central. Okay. I've done plenty of fighting in that place. This is the first I've heard of any lab. Well, that's good, right? For us? If you say so. The problem is, the message's origin point was scrambled. Okay, then. We track the message back to the source. To whatever comm towers it passed through. Hours to start the trail back. Okay, will do. Hours. Where do we find them? We'll need higher ground. I say we make our way east. gates are we gonna find out here? Jack, mm -hmm. see what you can do. There it goes! No, the old cog didn't get enough credit for its advances in big gate technology. Come on, let's get in there and unjam it. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta check up here. Shit! Kate! Sniper's up top! All right, we clear them out! Then we deal with the gate! Check up here. Shit! Hey! Sniper's up top! All right, we clear them out. Then we deal with the gate!
deal with this gate situation. Find the other side of this thing. Hopefully, truth. Walking to those comm towers? I'm gonna say no. Car passing. I'll take navigation. And look at that! We got a comm tower up ahead! Fingers crossed one of those new hope messages passed through it! Hey look, even if they did, we'll need transmission data from two towers. One won't be enough to figure out where those messages came from. Then let's get started. Man, couldn't I have had a snowmobile? Something with a heater? And good luck finding fuel for that all the way out here. A skiff like this is the most convenient option. Yeah, maybe. Ah, looks like we're gonna have to reach this tower on foot. There's one thing I keep asking myself. Why did JD change so much? Was it the coma? The guilt? Jen got to him. Made us seem like the bad guys. And promoted him to captain, which... What happened? I just never imagined JD was so... cock. Well, he is Ivy Strauss' son. And Marcus Phoenix's son. Yeah, can't imagine why that would give anyone issues. Come on, in we go. Let's find out! And that wind flare? If we have to, we go through it. Just like the last one. Marcus, we spotted a comm tower on a mountainside. We're on our way to it now. Roger that. How's the weather? What do you think? This is bad, huh? Look out! Come on, this way!
What the hell is the swamp doing up here in the mountains? You heard Marcus. Kadar was Locust HQ. Maybe they're drawn here somehow. All right, let's look around. Find a way out of here. Come on. We gotta be close now. Hey. This tower's a bust. I came here for answers. I'm not going home until I get this. Keep moving! Our thermals won't keep us warm forever! Dell! We got a carrier! You see this storm? It's not a carrier I'm worried about! Wait! I take that back! I'm coming this storm! High ground on the left! Flank up! Kind of junction box up the fence. Jack, get in there and restore the power. Good job, Jack. Let's get Jack connected to the console. Get in there, Jack. <laughs> Transmission data before it locks us out. So, we scan for a transmission that matches the one we found at New Hope. 
Yep, that's it. Got a signal match. Northwest. It's another tower. So can we use that data to find the lab? Mm, not yet. We're gonna need that other tower to complete the trace. So what do you think? Should we update Marcus? I'll hail him from the skiff. Let's just get out of here. I'll take that. security for a comm tower, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking me like I work here. Get out this way. That's one tower down. Yep. It's time to find the other one. Sure you don't regret coming along? What? Are you kidding? I'm doing everything I love. Skipping. Freezing my ass off. So, I have a question. Boz, has he always been like that? Always. Gotta be the toughest. Gotta be the best. Gotta be the smartest. But not the smartest? <laughs> In that area? In that area alone? Boz has got a realistic view of himself. Thinking about Niles. Those experiments. Hey, do you know what the average person would do if they found out the little we already know? Probably why every first minister has covered it up. Even I knew. She was literally the most honest person I've ever known. So what do we do? What do we tell? Maybe no one. What would be the point? The people behind all this are dead. So do what Anya did. Nothing.
Marcus, we got part of the transmission data, but we need to find another tower. Good work. But remember, if there is a lab in Mount Qatar, it managed to stay hidden a long time. There's probably a good reason for that. Understood. We'll be in touch. Get to the tower and grab that data. I wonder how far that lab's gonna be once we isolate its location. With our luck, it'll be on the very top of Mount Kadar. Ah, uh, that's an unfortunate and almost certainly accurate prediction. <laughs> Dell, substation. Wanna check it out? Yeah. Should. Look, by the door. There's a note. <laughs> Those outsiders were attacked here, too. According to this, Norsko got potted, so Nina locked them inside. Damn. From bad to worse, huh? She says she headed to a radio tower southeast of here. We have to find her. I think it can't get any colder. No. After all this, a vacation would be nice. I would not get your hopes up. There's our other tower. Looks like it's in relatively good shape, too. Then let's head to it. Okay. Question for you before we dig any deeper into this. Did Raina ever do anything suspicious? I mean, why does she even have that animal? I've been thinking about that. There was a lot she didn't tell me. How she met my dad, why she never knew her own mother. All she'd say about her father was that he was bad. I know she grew up. Shit, get behind something. Swarm ahead. Time to go At this point, I expect them to be everywhere. You're probably right. 
Let's just get to the tower. Come on. I'll give you a boost. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. Who could trust you now? I don't trust you now. Hey, what gives? Sorry. Got distracted. Look what I found. Marcus, you know anything about a Condor crash out here? Matter of fact, wind flares took out a few of them recently. Probably some useful shit on those things. Okay, got it. We'll take a look. Huh. I was expecting more DBs in here than that. Maybe it wasn't a full fight. That org. They want it off. Some decent stuff. Come on, let's head for the comms out. Power. Come on. I think we just found that condor's payload. Clear him out. And we got a bastion, too. confused about what we're doing, but, uh, yeah, I'm good. I'll take that. Got it. What the hell was a warden doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Nothing good.
right. Time to find out if we can go two for two on these towers. Man, I really hope we didn't come up here. Goddamn DBs was that cargo carry. One problem at a time. I'm taking this. Help me get this open. to the other tower, at least. This should be it. Yeah. It's a console. Same as last time. Get in there, Jack. Unauthorized access. Security protocol initiated. Okay, that's not a good idea. We can worry about leaving after we get the data we need. Just gotta find a transmission that matches the other signals we found. Another signal match. That's gotta be the lab. So we've got enough to find it. Gotta run a formal trace, but yeah. You wanna tell Marcus or should I? Let's just get back to the skiff. We can tell him on the move. Jack, pop this lock. <laughs> what the hell's this? Someone's workshop? Got something here. A spectrum scrambler. Oh. Yeah, for Jack, check it. Jack's cloak can now make us invisible too. Invisible, huh? We might want to try it here. Jack, cloak. Down, let's go. One problem behind us. And we gotta do two. Come on then. Back to the skiff. <laughs> Not so fast! Snipers ahead! If only we could turn ourselves invisible somehow! Way ahead of you! Let's take them down! Exactly. Thrilled to be in the cog. Hey, if you're worried, I'm gonna run off or something. No, no, no. I'm not worried you're gonna run off. Oh, no? Well, maybe you should worry. At least a little bit. Oh. Great.
When we get to the skiff, let's tell Marcus what we're doing. Okay, but I got another question. If you did leave, where would you go? Mm, pre or post-swarm outbreak? Hmm. Pre. Some place with a beach. And post? A bunker, five miles underground. Okay. You got room for two? Aren't you forgetting Jack? Yeah, but he doesn't take up much space. What about you? Where would you go? You know what? Marcus, we got a location. If there was a lab in Mount Kadar... Nothing here. Yeah, I don't get it. Look, the data checks out. We're in the right place. Maybe Jack can, I don't know, use Pulse to ping the signal. Worth a try. Whoa, there's something under the ice. Nice work, buddy. That's gotta be what we're looking for. But how do we get down there? Not easily. Ice this thick, it's like concrete. I'm not sure if this helps, but Baird says there was an old mine in that area. Old mine? Blasting caps. Explosives. I'll push the coordinates to Jack. Thanks, Marcus. All right. I guess we got a potential solution. Old mine it is. Back here somewhere, right? Let's hope it's got something we can use. Oh, sure. But that really depends on the type of mining they create. If they were doing hydraulic mining, we might find some high pressure water cups. But given the environment, I bet it was some kind of subsurface extractive mining. Okay, all right, I got it. the mine. Marcus, we're here. What do you know about this place? Let's see. 
It's an old nether cut mine. Industrial, rare metals. The company got nationalized by the COG right before E-Day. So no activity since the war? No COG activity. Can't speak beyond that. Okay, thanks. We'll be in touch. Take that. Clear cutting. For the mine, probably. Just the building to take up. Industrial logging is not really my area. Whoa, so there is something that's not your area. Hey, I enjoy knowing things. Is that a crime? The mine is blocked. Derailed train. There's gotta be another way to cross, right? Let's see. Okay, looks promising. I take it back. We got swarm. Let's take them out. Careful on that ice. Clear they don't want us in that mine. Yeah, but we gotta get up there. Let's try that lift. Jack, rip that door. Uh-oh. Kate! Other side of the river! I see him! Hold him off! Oh, my God. 
the lift should be good to go. Nice work, Jack. Outsider camp. Lena, Norsko, I bet they were from here. You could be right. That means. That means we're about to have a fight on our hands. <laughs> What's up here? Still said it's true. This place got wiped out. Get this open. You know, I thought we knew where all the outsiders were, but we missed a lot. How? <laughs> Most outsiders don't want to be found, especially by the cog. It's better we find them than the swarm. Here we go. Shit. As expected, but... Shit. I can't believe Lena and Norsko survived this. Let's just look around and see if we can find any explosives. My best not to. Yeah, but maybe there's some part of them, some spark that's still human. There's nothing human left. Just keep looking around. Hand, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, mine's clear. Let's keep searching. Okay. Pretty sure that big drill ran off phosphorus fuel. Okay. So. So, when you expose phosphorus to oxygen, to the nuts, and that could solve our ice problem. Then let's take what's left. Jack, do the honors. So, let's go melt some ice, shall we? We're not out of this yet! Jack, protect that fuel! Bingo, we all go with it! Uh, excuse me? shit to the skiff and call Marcus. I'm telling you, this shit is gonna melt that ice. If you say so. Tell K 
Keep going! We're almost there! <laughs> we got a Scion! Come on! Let's head through that train and get out of here. Hang on, come check this out. Place was certainly a life experience. Feels like we're racking those up out here. I keep thinking about those poor people back in that mine. What you said in the tunnel. You're right. We should have found them. Yeah, but you were right too. You can't help people who don't want to be helped. Like JD, for instance. Oof. Yeah. Like JD. You think he'll ever be himself again? I don't know. I hope so, but... I don't know. Come on, up here. Skip's back this way. <laughs> Jack, you good hauling that phosphorus? Glad to hear it. See? It's growing on you, isn't it? Jack's good people. Yeah. You just filled his small mechanical heart with joy. Thanks for being here, by the way. If you weren't with me, this would be... It would be hard. Wait, are you thanking me or, or Jack? Jack? I'm sorry, wasn't that clear? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Marcus, we found phosphorus fuel. Dell thinks it'll get us through the ice. No, Dell knows it'll get us through the ice. Phosphorus. Be careful. It's nasty stuff. Yeah, that's the rumor. Delta out. You know, that ice isn't going anywhere. We could scout around some more. I'll take that under advisement. Oh, man. Now you sound like Marcus. No, this sounds like Marcus. I'll take that under advisement. <laughs> See? Subtle difference. Yeah, very subtle. Hey, one small detail. Once we get through that ice, getting back up might be tricky. Then I guess. All right, let's get this phosphorus cooking. Wait, oh, hold on. What? You said this stuff... It's called phosphorus. Fine, whatever. You said it feeds off oxygen and water. Yeah? Yeah, we're about to expose it to a ton of ice, which is... Oxygen and water. Yeah. Huh. It'll be fine. What are you basing that on? Thermodynamics. Reaction kinetics. Somebody want to let me know when this chemistry class is over? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Come on.
great. Safety first. Our radio tower. Means the lab's not far. Come on. Jack, you good? Oh, you, you know you don't have to be honest. You withhold the truth. Why do you think that is? What are you resisting? What are you resisting? Don't. Help me. They can't be just nearly there. Stop fighting! Something pays! But it's not! You're one of us! Mira! Get out of my head! Hey, hey. It's nothing. Well, good. Because we found it. Come on, we just need to figure out how to get inside. Oh, shit. We're not getting in there. Not with those turrets in place. Turrets in place. Generator here. Get all of Gotta be another generator somewhere. All right, that did it. Now, are you ready to get some answers? More than ready. upset about a pinprick i have sensitive hands proper identification is required for entry your entry has been denied good day a uh, what niles is that you proper identification is required for entry proper identification hey you can give it a shot but it's gonna hurt more than you think that welcome home? Do you really require an explanation? I think I like the gibberish spouting dolls more than this pretty garbage game. Ah, I see you've met my vastly inferior construct at New Hope.
It's freezing in here. Goodness. Apparently, some of our cryojets are malfunctioning. There must be a fault in our system. You don't say. Of course, we cannot proceed until those cryojets are disabled. Would you mind terribly? Miserable little guard. Cryojets are probably powered like the turrets. Let's find the generator. Let's get back to that garbage can. Well done. Yeah, Jack's good like that. I've been meaning to reset those cryojets for quite some time. to you explaining this. Oh, nothing but the remains of an old industrial accident. No, these tanks. Same as the ones at New Hope. Yeah, I noticed. Ah, yes. My work there began as an effort to cure children ill with rust lung, but it grew into something far more significant. The cog wanted medicine. I gave them gods. Oh, well. Water under the bridge. Please, this way. So after the cog shut you down, why come all the way out here? Our family needed a place to continue our work in solitude. <laughs> no way your family did this alone. I am quite certain you lack the necessary clearances for that information. What the hell? The path to every breakthrough is paved with failure. Here are some of our more unstable specimens. This breakthrough of yours, how did you manage it? One of the miner's children, as it happens. She was resistant to aging, disease. We raised her as our own. Ah, you may find this especially interesting. What is it? That is one of our first successful hybrids. Hybrid? You mean a locust? One and the same. In our previous facility, we had problems with genetic stability. The sires were distempered and sterile. A problem for obvious reasons. But the locust were different, highly controllable, the perfect soldiers, and blessedly able to reproduce. What made them different? Their cells. You see, the emulsion miners' children provided a marvelous genetic repository, as did the indigenous creatures of the Hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, Jack! Jack, come here! I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh, man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emulsion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira. Or as you know her, Queen Mira. You bred her with the sires? 
Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to Sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mira's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Reyna. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Your mother was born here, and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Hey, I am not gonna hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Or maybe I should. Hey. That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now, shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. I killed her. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, when I was inside that snatcher, I was controlling them. What? I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. It... You think? Or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. And we're supposed to just trust your good word here? You are free to trust or not trust whomever you like. But tell me something. Your mother and the Hive, did she resist? Of course she did. So I feared. Young Mira needed no such crude incorporation. Niles, tell me something. My grandfather. Who was he? One of my best geneticists. He fled with little Reyna because he no longer believed in our work. Did Mira know where he took her? I told Mira Reyna had perished in the escape attempt. I assumed that would end the matter. I greatly miscalculated. But it appears we have another malfunction. Perhaps you could address it? Right. work turn on you. I choose to view it differently. 
The Locust longed for independence. Mirror showed them the way. I have always been proud of your grandmother. I still am. What the hell is that thing? The matriarch was generated from your grandmother's stem cells and sire DNA. She amplified Mirror's ability to communicate with the Locust. This device is where Mirror first learned to control her power, but we can also use it to sever your link, if you choose. So how does it work? By mildly damaging your brain. What? By mildly damaging her brain? Her connection to the Locust is based on a genetic algorithm inside her temporal lobe. Altering that requires anesthesia, you could say. It sounds like a lobotomy. A lobotomy is highly invasive. This is directed. While I work, the matriarch will guide your mind, undetected, to where it must go. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. no. You are not doing this. I do not trust this can. Then watch him. But I have to do this. I'm losing control. I won't hurt anyone else, understood? Understood. Yeah, but... OK, 
Okay, come on, we can talk about it later. No, listen. He used me. My mother, she's alive. What? It, it wasn't really her, except, except it was. Where is he? Emergency shutdown in effect. Come on, he went this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. right before he bled to death. Good fucking riddance. Uh, Del? The matriarch is... gone. Oh, I'm sure that's not gonna be a problem. Let's just find out. Come on. Freeing the matriarch was... unwise. You will die. Which means you will never look upon the grandeur of your mother. Transfigured. I'm gonna kill you, Niles! Kate, you wanna tell me what the hell Niles is talking about? Later, after we deal with Niles.
Jack, see where that leads. Okay, more locusts are coming. Then hold them off. Hey, Jack, don't take your time on this. inside its head. You don't want to know. Where the hell is Niles? My goodness. Someone seems to have awakened my sires from their long hibernation. I wonder who that could have been. Del, get ready. Clear. Let's keep going. My 
my sire's interest in self-preservation was always lacking. But I assure you, there will be no escaping a matriarch. Del, Niles is leaking something. Looks like you went this way. Wait, Del! There he is! Damn it! done cannot be undone. This planet is now theirs. I told you I'd get you. Look out!
and you're sure what you saw was real. It was real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. got their queen. And Nas is right about what happens next. We need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. Oh, thank God. Looks like you need a ride. How'd you find us? You think I'm gonna give you a one-of-a-kind piece of tech without the ability to track it to the center of the planet? Yeah, yeah, fine. And speaking of one-of-a-kinds, help me hook up this skip. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks. Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, no, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the cog publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kinda triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. Or weak. <laughs> 
Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go.